What's up, everyone? Happy Tuesday morning, still kind of technically. Technically morning, almost afternoon. How's everyone doing today? Uh, we're doing another live from the Toy Store video. Um, I had a request. Uh, our good friend Alan uh, messaged me and asked me if we would, if I would show off some of the stuff that uh, that I purchased at the Toy Spot. So we're going to do that today. Um, I'm not going to be able to show everything I got because I did buy a lot of stuff. But I, I, I got kind of just a general cross selection of things. So uh, check in when you get in. Let's start off. First thing I got, unfortunately, this gentleman's thumbs are gone, but I'm going to fix this guy. Um, this is a straight arm. Uh, cover up the press. Straight arm, original nine uh, Joe action figure. This is Grunt. Um, I just got to find him some uh, new thumbs. Oh, yeah. Didn't really look at that when I got that. I just noticed right now. It's funny, right? This might be the coolest thing I picked up, period, okay? I believe this is from uh, Mr. Freeze. What's up? Uh, I believe this is from a Frankenstein figure from somewhere. Anyway, check this out, man. This is the Frankenstein bed, and it has a little thing on it, little, little gears, and it actually moves, okay? So you can put them inside the belts there, like breaking out i'm angry i'm frankenstein and i'm probably not gonna be able to go to the techno club because no one's gonna like me there because i got big heavy boots but check that out it's uh it's got a cool kind of paint amp you could paint app you could probably do a little more with this i imagine like someone like shane or somebody does have foot pegs um depending i don't know which figure this goes with i got this just because i think it's super cool oh look i didn't even know this check this out press this button Bam, the things come open. How cool is that? So for anyone who's doing a really cool Frankenstein setup, I'm looking at you, buddy Harvey. Um, this might be a uh, toy you might be interested in. Bob Hutchinson says, morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Sir Bob Hutchinson, Sergeant Schwag of Blue Line Crafts. What's up? Um, now this right here, this is absolutely hands down my favorite score of the day, okay? Um, this is a little gunner outpost, okay? For 3.75 figures. Comes with a big machine gun, but you could probably put something else in there. It's got a little wooden thing, little, little deck to mount your gun on. It's got sandbags, which are awesome. And this, dude, you know that corrugated metal, right? There it is right there, man. This is real deal stuff. It even has a communications antenna, which I think is great. Uh, you could probably rebend this with a, a hairdryer or something. John Burns, what's up? He said, nice. Mr. Free says, that's dope. So dope. This is my favorite thing of the day. And I bought a lot of stuff, but I love this. Like, this makes me want to start setting up cool little, like, all my Star Wars stuff is, is right on and set up really cool. But now I want to set some G.I. Joes up. Bob says, uh, killing time, waiting for my mom. Uh, she's getting the old colonoscopy. Well, thank you for sharing that, Bob. There's uh, nothing more important than sharing everybody's uh, health situations with the family because, you know, we're there for you. We're pulling. We're pulling for you. Uh, the next thing I got, now I remember when these were in stores, um, Target had these. Uh, I think it was just like a Target line. Now this is like a general just little army guy action figure, um, Bravo team, so like Navy SEALs or something. I don't know. But this guy comes with a really cool parachute, okay? You check out the back there. It's got the little elastic lines and everything, but the parachute looks real deal, like a real deal parachute. Now, all the things that come with this are perfectly scaled to G.I. Joe, including his weapon, which I believe is an AR retrofitted with a uh, grenade launcher. Um, but his helmet looks real deal. Like the paint apps on this stuff is awesome. I wish the figures were better. Um, but uh, so he comes with basically a closed shoot um, thing. But then uh, when you deploy the parachute, he has an open shoot um, backpack type thing that you can put on him. Uh, I got this for to put it with the Joes because Joes never made a parachute like this. Now I have a GI Joe parachute that goes with the uh, original Sky Striker seat, which I also have. So I have that here. Um, next thing we're gonna look at some more Joe stuff. Uh, we have a Shark Tooth comes with Deep Six figure. Now this is just a re-release um, of the original. Uh, I don't think they've changed anything on this. Um, I'm not going to open it to find out, but, uh, oh, they did change his head. He does have a different head in there. It's not the original head, so you can tell by the mold. Um, this is cool, right? I think it's cool. Uh, and the other day, 
we were talking about somebody asked me about Star Wars banks on on the show. Um, a gentleman came here, um, and he had uh, he had the C three PO version and the Darth Vader version. So I bought both of them just just to have them at the store. Now I remember when these banks came out. Check that out. Ooh, arms move. Wow, oh, look at that. Robotics. Oh, look at that. He comes forward a little bit, turns his head around. Oh, this is really advanced stuff, everyone. So, don't want to break that, you know. Uh, what else we got here? More Joe stuff. Um, we got a. Um, a ghost hawk, not a skyhawk, a ghost hawk uh, that comes with lift ticket as a pilot. I don't know what it is about lift ticket, but his face on this figure is really bad. His face on the original figure was really bad, too. He had a really dopey smile. But, uh, hey, right? It's, I mean, you know, it's modern Joes, Mojos. It's Mojos, and I like this. I think this is a great, great vehicle. The, uh, the skids are different than the original, that's for sure. And then it also has uh, glass in the uh, glass cockpit windshield. Um, I mean, it, it looks pretty much like the original. It might be a little bit, I think it's a different mold though. It looks cool, man. I like it. So we got that, um, uh, more Joe stuff. I bought a lot of Joe stuff. Um, I bought this for the background. Okay. So this is a snake eyes versus uh, storm shadow. Um, but it has the, uh, I always forget how to pronounce this. Uh, Arisha, Kagi, whatever, dude. I used to know how to pronounce it. Now it just messes up my mouth. So, hey. But it comes with this cool, like, pagoda-type thing um, behind it uh, with the with the symbol for their clan. Um, the figures aren't bad. It's weird seeing snake eyes and camouflage pants. But whatever. What are you going to do, man? comes with some extra stuff there on the sides. Extra uh, little weapons. And, and it, I mean, I, I like this stuff for the stuff that comes with it. Not necessarily the figures. Uh, more Joe stuff. I had to have myself an original, well, not original, but a Sky Striker. Uh, it comes with uh, Ace, pot, the pilot. Um, you know, got to have one of these, right? If you're going to, let me get the price out of there. Uh, got to have one of these, right? I mean, this is the, the flagship of G.I. Joe Air, Air uh, vehicles. So this was the first big one. So uh, what else did I get? Um, now, I bought some stuff off Bull. We have a Moduck figure from Marvel Legends. Everybody likes those, right? Moduck, Moduck. I'm angry. I'm just a big head with tiny little legs. So, but he has a family, apparently. Uh, G.I. Joe Classified. We have a Cobra Infantry, infantry Trooper. Um, the Trooper looks cool. You know, the, the actual figure itself looks pretty good. It looks about like a, what a Cobra Trooper should look like in this day and age. Um, the weapons. I have problems with the classified weapons. Um, they look like weird laser things. And, uh, you know, I like my Joes with real weaponry. And the only other thing I, I, I have to say about these this line is the shin guard protection. Shin, shin protection. So all the new classified figures just have like these ornate shin guards. I don't know if they're playing soccer Space soccer, whatever it is. Uh, oh, look at all these people who just joined up. I wasn't even looking at the chat. Sorry. Uh, Isaiah says, still uh, on the men from the shot. Can't lift my arm past three inches. Pete, LOL. Mr. Freeze says, uh, new head is always good. Yeah, new head is <laughs> Mr. Freeze. John Burns says, uh, I'm digging the music. It goes well with the G.I. Joe. So, uh, polka. Dude, every time I think of G.I. Joe, I'm like, polka music? Or, well, this is more like 20s. It, I don't know. It, it's like, yeah, 20 stuff. So, roaring 20 stuff. It's uh, my, my mix mixed up there. Isaiah says, I remember the Bluetooth speakers that came out. I hit the demo button at Walmart and it was so freaking loud. Everyone turned around like, really? Really? Well, it depends on what Walmart you're at. Some Walmarts you go to, every single radio is blasting full blast and all different music. So Emerson's here. What's up, Emerson? He says, that's a sick two-pack. It sure is a sick two-pack. Snake Eyes and, uh, yeah, yeah. Snake Eyes versus Storm Shadow. He says, uh, Cobra Trooper is uh, is awesome, too. Oh, thanks, Emerson. Glad you like him. Um, another thing I got here um, from our good friend Sally, Monster, from the chat. I got this big crate, which I will return. Um, full of random action figures. 
Now, um, there's a bunch of these in here, the Marvel Universe figures, which are cool, which is cool because I have a ton of them already. Thank you, John Burns. Um, I think John Burns gave me those, yes. Um, but there's a bunch more of those, and then there's a bunch of uh there's there's these like little random uh dollar store like uh, Avengers figures and stuff that come with they're they're like little three inch figures, two inch figures, and they come with little stuff, and it, these are cool, man. They're affordable toys, you know. I mean, everybody should be able to afford some toys, right? Like, even if you don't have money for toys, you can go to Family Dollar or Dollar General and get yourself, you know, dollar or two action figure and play with it. Because kids should play with toys because that's where our imaginations come from, right? That's how I developed my imagination, playing with toys. That's how I figured out how to write stories, uh, art. You know, I created things. I made things out of cardboard and stuff. Like, if, if, if I needed something specific, if I needed a table and chairs or whatever – make it out of cardboard and that got my imagination running so toys <clears throat> are very important now i understand the ease of giving a kid a game system or your phone to play games on or whatever which is fine when you're riding in the car um me i always had toys in the car with me and i was always playing with them so um i was constantly building stories world building all that kind of stuff that, I, that we love to talk about on the show so uh uh, get your kids some toys, leave them alone in a room with them, take the electronics away, put them in a room, give them some toys, see what happens. You know, they might have a, in the beginning, it might be tough. Maybe they'll have a little bit of uh, withdrawal or whatever from electronic devices, but down the road, 30 years from now, they'll, you know, they'll understand why they'll appreciate it. Uh, John Burns says, thank you. You're welcome, John. Uh, Emerson says, uh, I was at GameStop the other day. I got myself a Snake Eyes helmet. Awesome. Great price and quality. Actually, Emerson, I just ordered uh, from GameStop. I just ordered two Cobra Commander helmets because I got the Cobra Commander uh, 3D printed uh, weapons right here. Oh, let's show it real quick. Okay, so I know I showed one of the unfinished ones on the show, but this is the finished uh, Cobra Commander hair dryer laser gun uh, like the original figure had. Um, we're, we're thinking about figuring out how to make a 3D print of a small back plate uh, that this will clip into nicely, but uh, it'll go great with your helmet. If you got the Cobra Commander helmet, you got to get one of these. And hey, they're exclusive. These, these are a Fandom Iconic Outpost exclusive. Um, so, uh, hey, we got a new subscriber. Check that out. Oh, Andy did it. What's up, Andy? Awesome. Uh, da, 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 da. John says, uh, the best was playing with Joe's when it snowed outside. It was cool playing with Joe's outside, John. I agree. The thing is though, you couldn't accidentally forget and leave them out overnight. I left my vamp, my first vamp that I ever got. I left it out. Uh, and I remember it vividly, uh, next to a tree in my backyard and I came out the next day and it had snowed and I couldn't find it, couldn't find it. And then when the snow started to melt, uh, I saw it sitting there, but it was cracked in half and it wasn't in a place where somebody would have stepped on it. So the old Joe plastic was brittle and in that kind of temperature crack. So what are you gonna do? Emerson, super Emerson says sick. It is totally sick. It's very sick. You're right. <laughs> you are so right. I don't even know what else to say. Super sick. But I, I gotta tell you, man, I really think this is the find of the day. This looks so real. Like even the inside, like they did the, the, the detailing probably can't see it but they did the detailing on the wood planks um this is something you would absolutely throw together uh if you were you know racking up a little putting up putting up a makeshift little area if you took some space and more and you you, you gained territory this is the kind of thing you would see this is this is how they would build an outpost a makeshift outpost like mash you know like the show mash um, that corrugated, uh, metal looking stuff though, is just, I, I, dude, it totally sells me on this thing. I absolutely love it. I love the sandbags. It would be cooler if you could stack the sandbags yourself, but, but I like this mold. This is the, this is the best way to get these things looking as real as they can. Cause if you made little, cause I've seen the little homemade, uh, sandbags and they, you know, you can see the stitching in them. They don't look very real. At least, I mean, these are molded, but they look very real. All this needs is a really cool weathering paint app on it. And this would be the centerpiece of a very cool little setup. So um, maybe I'll do that with that. Who knows? Who knows? I've got all the time in the world. Actually, I have no time. But maybe one day I will. And then I'll set some cool stuff up. Uh, Emerson says uh, Hasbro uh, said there is a HasLab Black Series coming out. Not a vehicle. Um, I hope it's a Rancor. Oh, that'd be cool. 
Um, I haven't heard anything about it yet. I, I, you know what? I've been slacking this week on news, so who knows? I might be way behind. Um, anyhow, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, little thing. I try to get these done before people start coming in the shop so I don't get interrupted or have to be, you know, like rude to anyone or whatever. Um, but hey, I'm here to make money today. So, you know, I got to get to, got to get to work, kids. I'd love to sit here and play toys all day, which, if nobody comes in, I probably will. So anyhow, thanks for showing up to the live from the toy store videos. I love doing these. I hope you guys like them too. Um, I mean, people are watching them, so that's nice. And you got a few people show up to uh, comment and hang out. So that's awesome. It's a cool little break in the middle of the middle of your day, especially if you start work early in the morning, it's probably right in the middle of your day. Um, other than that, uh, if you have any questions about any of the toys, you can always email me at Captain Crappy's Toys at gmail.com. I'd like to give a special shout out to Alan Gadbois, who asked me to do this video. This is all stuff I found at the swap meet on Sunday. There's a lot more. I just don't have time to show it all. Um, and also, last night on the show, I asked people to email me what they would do with the frog backpack. Emerson, you might want to go back and uh, watch last night. Uh, so, uh, so you can Gmail me whatever you would put into that uh, frog backpack. Uh, actually, Alan Gadbois emailed me a really cool story he wrote with the idea. So I'll probably post that up on the Craptastic family page. Other than that, everybody, thanks for showing up. Keep showing up. Uh, keep playing with your toys. Uh, keep doing nice stuff for people. That's all that really matters. I mean, you know, do something nice for somebody. Be a good boy or girl or whatever. Um, other than that, let's strike a pose. Wait, what's the what's my favorite pose? <laughs>